attention, son. This is for your own good. How the months got their names. Remember back in kindergarten? For some of us, that was a long time ago. Even at age five or six, you brought to the table certain knowledge of the world. You could count to ten on your fingers, sing the ABC song, and you likely knew the names of the twelve months of the year. These days, I hope you don't need your fingers anymore to count to ten. The ABCs should be committed to memory. But the months of the year, did you ever wonder why they're named January, February, and so on? On today's episode of Transit TV Teacher, let's cover the first six months of the calendar year. The ancient Greeks and Romans had a big influence on Western civilization, particularly the calendar we use. From them come the names of the months of the year. January, the first month, is named for the Roman god Janus, the god of beginnings. In this statue, he has two faces which represents his ability to see the past and the future. February is named for the ancient springtime purification festival, Februation, when homes were cleaned and lives were renewed. The Roman god of renewal was known as Februus. March, the month of storms and bad weather, is named in honor of Mars, the Roman god of war. April, a more serene month known for flowers and buds opening and springtime gardens bursting into bloom, is named after the Latin word aperit, which is, means to open. May is named for the Roman goddess Maya, who was in charge of nurturing newly grown plants each year in the spring. She was also the mother of the god Mercury and the daughter of Atlas. And finally, for now, the month of June was named in honor of the goddess Juno, who is the wife of the king of the Roman gods, Jupiter. I guess they wanted to keep the misses happy. That's where the names of January through June come from, back in our Greco-Roman origins. We'll cover July through December the next time. I'm the Transit TV teacher, Justin Vior. And now it's time for extra credit. Email your answers to extracredit at transit-tv.com.